it is uh, it is going to print out the path from the topmost directory to the present directory that we are in. So please don't please neglect this. All right. So you remember the first line that is more than enough. Okay. So PWD then we covered LS. List. LS. List the file. The directory that we are in. So it's going to list so cd I want to see cd I want to see cd desktop so it took me into desktop so that was true pwd present working directory it's going to show me the directory third one ls ls it's going to list the files Beginning with the dot, All right? Ls minus L. This uh, length name with more information. What the hell? The switches for the for any for any command can be combined combined so I can say ls minus al. So and then I'm just want I can all cover the basics. We're gonna do uh, this later. So. This is these are the commands, you know, that basic commands that you need to know and then So L S space dash dash help prints out the help page for the LS command. Uh, man ls prints out the manual for the ls command and then info ls prints out the information about the ls command there is one more I'm going to type ls. What does that mean? So here, ls is alias to, it's going to give me what type of file is it and what is it. Right, so type ls. Type of ls, that type of ls that we are using that we executed. So as you can see ls space dash dash color equal TTY that means ls has been uh, modified, the original ls has been modified to you know print out these colors, you know fancy colors that we see here, right? Otherwise I have to use this you know, command every time to show it in colors. 
have one more command ls minus f is going to show me whether it's a directory or a file so if you find this it's a directory so there are a lot of other symbols okay uh, when I f and I can try this command and that will let you know what kind of a file is it okay then I can say which okay I mean let's let's not you know get too much into that so we are in basics all right so these are the basics that you need to know so if you want to learn more commands okay I'm gonna say basic there's one more basic thing that I want to show you about this terminal is okay I'm gonna show you something I'll save as I'm gonna save it on the desktop, I'm going to say unsave document, okay, no problem. So you're, you're bored about this black window, right? I mean, the black window that you see here. Uh, you might have seen my previous video on how to make it colorful. So I'm going to show it to you again. So that is very, very customizable. It, it, it will completely give control, I mean, completely surrenders itself to you. So there are no hidden secrets or nothing. So I can use a background image here instead of the black window here. Now I can hear here and all uh, the Megan Fox here. I can set the transparent rate, how much transparent it has to be. I can set the maximum. I can just say like this. Others, I can just say transparent background here. So it's going to be like you know, as if I'm typing on the screen. Isn't that great? Or I can say none. Use solid color. All right. I can you know, scroll by raised, right hand side, I mean you can, you can change all this. I would recommend you to you know, experiment with this, have fun with it, it it's really, really, you know, really, really good. Uh, and you will not know uh, how cold the water is unless you get into the water. You will not know swimming unless you get into the water. So get into it, you will know it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and know and uh, close this thing out okay so I want to delete this delete this so if you want to edit some files you can click on you know office here you have writer you can RLs you can click on accessories text editor that is gedit it's like your uh, the free word processor it comes with Microsoft WordPad it's like that right so that is how it is. So logging into the system. Yes, we covered that. Logging into the system and other basic usages. Let's see. And changing users and editing text files. Did I help you to change users? Did I or not? Okay, if I have not done it, let's do it. So I can say log out could you here. Log out. How to change users. I'm going to say root here now. Root. Root is the user who has complete control or complete access on each and everything that we have in this unit. So this is the root user desktop. So let me click. I mean, let me open terminal and say pwd so it says slash root okay so let me increase it increase zoom in okay so this is pwd I mean by default it will be white uh, and all white is gonna like your eyes I mean it's going to burn too much power too if you use white. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to change the color. I'm going to say color, I'm going to pick this up, I'm going to copy, I'm going to say text color should be black. Right? Uh -uh, no, background should be black. Now both are black, so let's say, let's make this one. My text color should be 
this. <laughs> 